on your domestic sewing machine is fun. I think piecing on a serger is just as fun. Uh, when I set up my stitch, what I'm going to use is a three thread overlock. You can see I have uh, my needle thread in that right position because I want a narrow stitch. Then I have an upper looper and I also have my lower looper. I do lengthen my stitch length out to about three and a half. Now what I've done is I've actually uh, attached the stitch or the cutting width guide and what this does is this helps me, it almost acts as a rail on a quarter inch guide on your sewing machine does. It's a guide that I can butt my fabric up to. Now when I first started piecing on the surgery using overall, I actually did start by marking my fabric. And what that did was after a period of time of having that fabric piece marked and making sure that I was always aligned, uh, my needle was aligned with that marking, I knew where to place the edge of my fabric uh, on the uh, guide and also by positioning that marking with the guide on my presser foot, I always knew I had that quarter inch uh, seam allowance. Now we will be trimming off a, a sliver of fabric, but that's okay because again, as long as in an, our entire piece, we are trimming off the same amount of fabric, we are okay. And again, we are at a quarter inch because we're stitching on that quarter inch marking. So now my first piece is underneath my presser foot and I'm just gonna start to sew, keeping that fabric aligned. And that, again, that tick marking right there is aligned with my marking on my fabric, which is basically where my needle is, is sitting. There goes my first piece. And now I'm gonna go ahead and place my second piece underneath there. And if I take a look at that, you can see how beautifully that is aligned. Now when I'm done, I'm gonna raise that thread cutter, clip that. Now I have my two pieces ready. And this time I did not mark my fabric. This time I'm gonna take it on blind faith that I know where to align the edge of my fabric to get that quarter of an inch. And the great thing about the serger is because of the feeding system on it, if I have fabric that tends to be a little bit longer on one end versus the other, everything eases in. The other thing is, is this is a great secure stitch for uh, a quilt that's gonna be used a lot such as on a bed or one of those quilts that sits in your family room that you use when everybody wraps up and watches TV. And voila, look at how beautifully I have those points in that corner. And this was all done using that three thread overlock stitch, trimming off just a little fabric, the standard presser foot, and then the cutting width guide all on your baby lock vibrant.